In this video, we're going to be looking at part two of direct proportion. So this is the more abstract equation based questions that you might be asked. So let's have a look at the first one. Y is directly proportional to X. When Y equals 12, X equals three. Work out Y when X equals 10. We're always going to be told whether it's directly or inversely proportional to X. We're going to be given a comparison like this. And then we're going to be asked to solve something like this. So whenever you see a question like this, the way we want to write it is we would say y is directly proportional to x. So this little symbol in between represents proportional to. Now once you've written that, we want to write it in terms of an equation. And we factor out the proportional sign for an equals and we include a scale factor, which is k this time. Once we do that, we want to work out what k is. And to do that, we use our comparison that we're given. So when y equals 12 and x equals 3, we can write this. Now we know that if 3k is equal to 12, k must be 4 by dividing by 3. So then what we do is we take our original equation here, and we can now say that k equals 4. So we know that y equals 4x. Now they're asking us to work out y when x is 10. So all we have to do is substitute the x is 10 into our equation now. So we know y is equal to 40, and that's our final answer. So for the next one, it's a little bit more involved. I'll let you have a go first if you want to pause it. But if not, let's have a look. So first of all, again, that first sentence, y is directly proportional to the square of x. So we would write y proportional to x squared. And again, we want to convert this into the equation. So y equals k x squared. And again, when y equals 24, x equals 2. So we can write 24 equals k multiplied by 2 squared. Now, 2 squared we know as 4, so that's going to be 4k, which we can write as k equals 6. So again, now that we know k, we want to take this equation, rewrite it, as y equals 6x squared, and then we need to find the value of y when x equals 4. So all we do again is substitute 4 in, so y equals 6 multiplied by 4 squared, 6 times 16, so y is going to equal 96. And again, you can work that out. If you've got a calculator for it, then you can do calculator. If not, some simple column multiplication will do the job as well. Okay, for our final question, y is directly proportional to the cube root of x. So writing this in terms of our little symbols, y is proportional to the cube root of x. So converting that into an equation, y equals k multiplied by the cube root of x. Now we're given the two comparison values. So when y equals 6, we have k multiplied by the cube root of 27. So we know that 6 equals k multiplied by, the cube root of 27 is 3, so 6 equals 3k, so k must be 2. So again, once we know what k is, we take our original equation here, and we can rewrite it up here. So y equals 2 multiplied by the cube root of x, and we need to work out x when y equals 10 this time. So 10 equals 2 multiplied by the cube root of x. So this time we have to do a little bit of rearranging. If we're multiplying by 2 here, we want to divide by 2 on both sides. So 10 divided by 2 gives us 5. And that's going to leave us with the cube root of x. And we want to work out what x equals, so we have to cube both sides. So basically just 5 cubed. So x is 125. So as you can see, there's a little bit more involvement here. Being familiar with rearranging and solving equations will definitely come in handy. But hopefully you can see the pattern is very similar throughout all of these questions. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that helped.